tell you, there's a lot of hate on for these Fisker's axes right now. Uh, a lot of purists don't like the plastic handle. Um, a lot of people seem to say that the edge doesn't hold very well, but I've had mine for like three years. I've never put a file to it. It's still sharp as the day it came. I've got one, Jesse's got one, I think Jason's got one. And yeah, it's nice to have like an old vintage heritage axe, the wooden hickory handle. But I mean, if it's just like your workhorse, just chopping a ton of firewood all the time, I tell you, this thing blazes through knotty pine, like wet fur, never had an issue with it. Um, it splits really well, it's lightweight. A lot of people, all the hate seems to be on either just because it's some Swedish company and I guess some of their products are made in China or something. Um, and it's it seems kind of unfounded as far as performance goes. Except like I say, some people who seem to have a problem keeping the edge on it. I don't know what they're chopping through or into, but as long as you're just chopping into wood, like I say, I'm, I've been through like three seasons of cords of firewood and I've never had to sharpen mine yet. And then the handle, I mean, you break it, they just hand you a new one. Take it back to the store you bought it from. Here's a new ax. How do you argue with that? I'm not even swinging that hard. I mean, it's almost a pleasure. More so than chopping wood usually is. I'm one of those guys who enjoys physical labor and chopping wood, but not even chopping hard. It's you almost look forward to it. So that's uh, that's my idea, I guess, of a product review. Thing's got an unbeatable warranty, and it works. I and mean, what more do you want from a product these days?